Yeah, that nigga tripping. That's a clip. No, nigga. Hey man, it's the ISO God himself, you know, OG Grandmaster. Listen up, man. We got a lot to talk about with this NBA 2K21 hoobla. So make sure if you're new, you subscribe. 300K on the way. Like up that goddamn video. Let's go for a thousand likes. Turn on post notice. Now listen up, bro. Listen up, listen up, listen up, listen up. Before I get into the main part of the video, bro, I want to briefly talk about this, right? So Young Choi Dan tweeted out something about some rumor control. I don't know if this stuff is real. I have no idea. But all I know, if you read the NHL description, it says that this is how I don't know if this is real or not. I mean, I'm not I'm not even going to go search it. Y'all just let me know in the comments, bro. It says Ray traced ice. Don't know what that means. Go on then. This could be the first NHL you ever buy because you're a sucker for new console shine. Why would they call you a sucker? I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm so lost. Is this fake? Like, who wrote this? <laughs> like, like if this is real, like, who wrote this? But Troy's whole um, reasoning for tweeting this out is, um, like, it's the PlayStation 5's upcoming game list. And it was released in the UK magazine, and there was no 2K21. And there was like other sports games and stuff. I don't know, bro. Y'all let me know. But um, then Craig tweeted out. So apparently, according to this YouTuber in this leaked conference call, I don't know if this is true, my boy. But apparently, 2K21 is not going to be delayed. Y'all let me know if y'all think it's going to be delayed or not. I heard the PlayStation 5 is going to get delayed. So if the PlayStation 5 is going to get delayed, how can 2K get delayed? I'm... I'm confused. This is a genjutsu. I don't know why they just don't let us know. But anywho, man, I want to get into NBA 2K21 finishing badges. Now, look, Zach Timmerman tweeted this out for NBA 2K21. I don't think a lot of people like like caught on to that, bro. Thoughts on finishing badges as a whole. So he's using this feedback to create 2K21, right? And um, this is what people say, right? Complete idiots, bro. Complete idiots. This is this is pathetic, bro. Look at this. Just right, 37%. They're not just right. <laughs> They're too OP. Tone them down. You like people are saying not effective enough. Like, bro, look, look at this. Look at this. This right here is majority of the community bro look at this 68 percent people ass just ass like like you have to really be bad to think like finishing is like just right or like not effective enough like i'm like like not even to be funny because a lot of y'all are probably listening listen bro finishing is broken when you learn how to do it and how to exploit it it's broken, right? Listen to me, okay? People can play perfect defense on you, bruh. And you just finish over him. It's broken. If you can't create space or have an angle on a nigga, you don't deserve to make the shot. If you make it over people, you know, no takeover, no nothing. People perfectly time a jump at you with 30 defensive badges, maxed out wingspan, Hall of Fame Intimidator, Hall of Fame Rim Protector, they perfectly jump at you and you still make it, still dunk on them or whatever. The game is broke, it's broken. You know, people make these BP builds because they suck. They just go there, hop step, hold square, make it over anyone, it's ass. You feel me? You gotta have a skill gap. 
I know a lot of y'all are in the genjutsu. Oh my God, it's real life. People make contested shots. It takes skill to make contest. In real life, it takes skill to make contested shots. In 2K, it does not take skill. You go to the rim and you hold square. It should not exist. If someone goes to the rim and holds square, it should go in at like 110, two out of 10 times, bro. It goes in too easy, especially if you know what you're doing, my boy. I have a three-point playmaker, and my finishing ability is phenomenal, bro. Like, I'm a god. I don't even use fancy footwork. I don't even have to stun people. The finishing is so overpowered that I can finish on him because I know what I'm doing. Imagine with someone with Hall of Fame finishing badges. You know, I could finish on a build with one defensive badge, bro. One, one, one. Or not, not one defensive, one finishing badge. And I'm dunking over everyone with all these defensive badges and stuff. I show y'all on my two way pass first point. He got high dunking, it's like 86 or 89 or something. But I have one finishing badge and I slaughter people. It's overpowered, it's undebatable, bro. And um, y'all got the game. People making these bailout builds, and like it's 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 just ass. Now, let's read what the community has to say. Open layups brick too often. Actually, I haven't seen too many open layups bricking anymore. Have y'all? Let let me know down in the comments, bro. I haven't I haven't seen it, bro. Like. Despite from the beginning of the year, I've been playing a lot more recently. We finna hit a thousand games. Y'all let me know if you think I can make it to 3,000 this year. Um, He says, I think pro touch and fancy footwork need to be changed. I don't know what he means about this. I don't really feel nothing with pro touch. Um, Fancy footwork is kind of overrated and it's overpowered at the same time because you really don't need it to finish. It just like gives you like an ankle breaker and stuff i don't really use it so you know i'm not your rim runner that y'all y'all think i am but this guy right here says i have a question zach will it be easier to get badges in 2k21 i feel like it takes a little bit too long to get badges i love 2k16 system where you get bronze and buy up to gold then grind to hall of fame I don't even remember what 2K16 badge system was like, but um, I wish you 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 could buy badges um because it's it's to that point. Um, you guys, you have to follow me on Twitter, Z Swanteezy baby. It is in the description. Listen, 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 listen. Like this video. Up. I need y'all to really push when the devs tweet out and really support my tweets, man, because. We can't go through another year of slaving my career just to get badges. Like, they don't get it. We don't want to play my career, bro. Let people play my career. We shouldn't be forced to play a mode. You feel me? We want to go into the game with our maxed characters, bro. Like, imagine in Call of Duty, you had to grind the campaign just to go to the park or just to go into multiplayer with the maxed out player or gun or Mac, like whatever, like it's, it's ass. And then they got it to the park, but then if you just go to the park with no badges, you getting slaughtered. So it's like, bro, make it like the past years. The whole community is saying this. The whole community. We don't like it, bro. Let us drop 200 in my career and get our badges. Cut it down. You gotta cut it down to like, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta cut it down times four. Or you gotta like buff bad progression times four. Like, it gotta be something dramatic. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments, man. I feel like a majority of the finishing badges aren't very effective. Look, man, that could be true, but it, it's still way overpowered. Look, li listen to this. These definitely need to be buffed. I'm a glass cleaning lock, 7-3, and I rarely snag a board and am able to immediately slam it back. It's horrible. Okay, okay. Why is he saying stuff needs to be buffed? Is this guy in a Genjutsu? I, I don't understand. 
I really hope NBA 2K21 will have crossplay. Um, I actually don't because 2K can't handle 2K now. I think that would bring a, a whole different world of server issues, to be honest. Y'all let me know down in the comments below what um what console you're copping. The Xbox or the uh, PS5? And is the Xbox, does it really got better hardware this year, finally? No, you know, I don't know. But I, I'm definitely going for PlayStation 5. Let's listen to this guy. Some of the most OP badges in the entire game come from the finishing side. Facts. Hall of Fame deep hooks and Hall of Fame fancy work just to name a few okay so you know he's making a point it's very broken i believe post scoring post scoring being any type of meta and the most op thing in the game needs to be um completely removed you know you still have post spins all that other stuff but posting people up and fading or hooking them and they perfectly time a jump right into you and you still make it i think those could go should go in two out of ten times one out of ten times but they 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 make this game so brain dead bro like it it it, it kind of ruins the fun bro like that that's a big reason why i don't play tools because i know people will pull up and they'll they'll try to troll me and stuff but you know i still you know i've been playing tools a little bit this year with my boy Flo, but i don't like it dog listen to this guy this brian bro as a big, they are weak. Paint defense is OP against bigs. What? Have you seen a paint beast? He just ain't got the right. He, he, ain't, he don't know what he doing. Guards, on the other hand, I'm jumping over, dude. Fix hop step. Um, A lot of y'all don't get it. It's not the hop step. I hate when people try to patch movement. Stop trying to patch movement. You ruin the game. You ruin the game. You ruin the game. Stop trying to patch movement. The true issue is finishing. Finishing. Paint defense. Finishing over people is the problem. I don't have problems guarding hop steps. I stop it. I know how to disengage and then cut off. You have to know how to stop the hop step. Y'all are just brain dead. When people do all that toxic hop step stuff, Think about what they're really doing, bro. Like, they might get, like, two crazy things off on you. But if they're going the whole game killing you with it, what is really happening? Sometimes you're in front of it. They're finishing over you. That's the issue, bro. This guy right here says, please nerf interior finishers. It's just run and dunk, and they get contacts every time. Interior, I don't even know what that build is. I thought he was talking about the post score at first. This guy says the only badge that needs it needs to be changed is fancy footwork. It literally moves people out the way. It's no counter to it. All other finishing badges do their job well. This is not true. So if fancy, if you're dealing with someone who's using fancy footwork, you can quickly hold circle to stop the ankle breaker, which needs to be patched. Circle should not stop you from getting broke. It's an exploit. It needs to be fixed, but I don't, I don't know what these guys are doing. Just like the hands up thing, but I don't know if that too much works this year. Um, but, or you could back up, right? And then run up and hit them. Like you guys, you just stand there and you time, like there's counters to it. You gotta know when to cut him off when he's driving, and then you know the hop step's coming, so you have to angle your player, and then you go with, like, you have to disengage off his body. You have to let go of L2 and use your left analog to go to where the hop step's going, and then L2 again, and you'll be right there. And then you time your jump. There's a counter to it. I don't even abuse it. I'm just letting y'all know, bro. Um, Teardropper and floaters in general need some work. Facts. These guys saying they can't finish. I just think people don't know how to time it. I don't know, bro. 
fix the damn paint defense as a whole. Facts. Listen to this guy. Deep fades honestly needs improvement. Why? Centers struggle in the paint no matter what finishing badges they have. What are y'all? Are y'all crazy, bro? If you have height, you can abuse the paint so easily. Like, I don't get it. Look at this. Intimidator is too OP. 90 interior defense. Almost impossible to score in the paint unless it's a dunk. Bro, I fit. Bro, bro, listen. I finish in the paint on pure locks. Paint beats. Legend pure locks on a three-point playmaker. Y'all just don't know how to play, bro. They clamping your shit. Like, what are you saying, bro? Like, like I, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Intimidator's not OP. I also don't understand why people intimidator needs to get removed uh, blah 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 do you not understand the game is broken we need intimidator we need an intimidator on motherfucking ruby like <laughs> i don't get it y'all just gotta get your game up big dog you need to look at some swan tutorials you need to come to the stream by the way follow me on twitch come to the stream get some tips man watch a Look at this. Doesn't really matter because of Intimidator. What is he talking about? Like, y'all really have to be the bad part of the community, bro. Like, you can't get open. I don't get it. Intimidator don't make me miss. I make everything, bro. You have to know what you're doing, man. Get your movement game up. Every post hook goes in. Facts. Not if you play good defense. Look at this guy. It's April and we still without a decent move since you took out the behind the back, at least patch one behind the back. Hey, I do wish, I actually do wish they kept the behind the back, created a speed gap and with speed gap becomes skill gap. We kind of got these bland moves. I really wish that because it, it brings more excitement to the game. Like it's so quick that it's like, if you're not nice, like you're, you're getting destroyed by it. Like if you're really bad, like you're not getting bailed out by a lock build because there is a move that's so fast that if you don't really have stick, you're done. You feel me? So, you know, it really was a counter to all these lock builds. Uh, they could at least gave us a different behind the back. I don't know why they, it seems like they can't really patch stuff, bro. Like they just come out with the game and it's over like they can't really implement things i don't i don't know bro I, I wish it was more i wish it was more i wish they like did more to like fix the game and to like cater to like the comp community or people that want a skill gap you know but it's like they don't be it takes so long to fix problems i don't know <laughs> look at look at this guy <laughs> Finishy badges are too OP. Facts. Why is 6 1 guards dunking on centers with ease, but centers struggle? <laughs> Small. I'm not even going to read this, bro. <laughs> this dude said. <laughs> this dude said. Six foot guys can dunk on seven foot centers. <laughs> bro, this is hilarious. He's saying if a seven foot can stand under the rim and he's charging with momentum, he's going to catch a body. Hey, but it does need to be in the game to where it's like still fun, but people shouldn't be able to abuse it like how it is now, bro. Like people out here dunking on people with like no takeover, no nothing. Like I don't get it. Like, and no, it be defensive builds too. Look at this guy, not effective enough. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Look at this genius, Rashad Season. Hey, shout out to you, my boy. Finishing badges are fine, but paint defense is horrible. You guys have to figure out something for paint defense. Guys just sit there and pump fake and my guy randomly moves. Look at this guy, bro. Bro, y'all niggas are ass. I swear to God, bro. I swear there's no way y'all are getting open. Like, you have to be taking up contested shit bro listen to this 
contact finisher needs to be buffed and drop stepper needs to be buffed. You are toxic, my boy. But fancy footwork needs to be nerfed also. Lob City finisher needs big buff. What? What? Okay, so listen to this, right? By his logic, right? He wants contested movement and animations and going up on someone that's guarding you to be buffed. But he wants movement to be nerfed. And Lob City finisher, bro, oops are OP. What is your what are you saying? He's, a, he's lost. Look at this. I have a Hall of Fame contact and Giant Slayer on an interior force power forward and miss 12% contestants from offensive threats. <clears throat> Trent, I can guarantee you're not good. Buff playmaker badges like Dimer. Facts. Um, imagine thinking Dimer needs a buff. I, I, honestly, bro, people be like Dimer work and stuff. I don't know, bro. I've been having this theory that I don't know, bro. I don't know how people be missing on my team with Hall of Fame Dimer and Hall of Fame shooting badges, bro. If it actually worked, like really think about it, man. Look at Genius Nick. It's April and you just now asking us how we feel about finishing badges. Is badges? It's frustrating. I cannot read. What is wrong with me? It's for the next game. He's a genius. Now, look what I say, man. Genius Swan. Genius Swan. Can we get a Genius Swan in the comments? All post-scoring badges need an extreme nerf. People abuse it to where it makes the game feel unplayable. People jump at post-scores at the perfect time and they still make it. This should never happen. The whole community hates it. They've been OP since 2K17. Oh, God. Look at this guy. This is not true, Kitchen. Look, Fancy Footwork really isn't that great. Hops themselves are OP, but Fancy blah, blah, blah. Listen to this guy. My guard uses no Fancy Footwork, and the hop step works fine for me. Facts. I think getting rid of the double or even triple hop step animation should be a priority. Facts. Definitely. Y'all agree with that? Animations and contests are the only issues I see with finishing right now. Facts. Now, look at Young Swan. Finishing badges, I said is, are completely overpowered. And, well, actually, I fucked up the whole sentence. But listen, I said finishing badges are completely overpowered and need extreme nerfing overall messes up the skill and fun gap it's like what's the point in playing defense when people can just make contested shots over you consistently when you are a defender promotes lack of stick skill get in your fucking bag swan let me know if you agree with the swan intelligent swan intelligent swan in the comments look at this guy <laughs> boycott 2k consumer lives matter <laughs> get your ass on man hey black lives matter down in the comment section down in the comment section post hooks are too op facts but when will they ever fix it how do we how do we complain about post scores every year since 17 and they don't do nothing what's wrong with them I don't I don't understand it, bro. I got Hall of Fame finishing badges and miss open layups. You're in a Genjutsu, bro. Your controllers, bro. I don't know what's wrong with you, my boy. <laughs> that shouldn't be happening. Look at this. Just too hard to finish in the game with skilled players using seven threes. Who uses seven threes? And um, bro, <laughs> shoot the ball. You feel me? Bro, leave the game alone at this point. Y'all should have fixed the game months ago. Nah, I think they should constantly fix the game. I mean, me as a YouTuber, that's good because they constantly change the stuff and I can talk about it and test it out and upload videos on it. I think, you know, they have to keep trying, bro. You can't just leave it. Like, 
you know just don't do it to don't try and game change like on some crazy stuff to where you making it like a mmo like you just like completely destroying builds but i mean with some builds you you gotta do it my boy look at this deep hooks and fades need a small buff what's wrong with you steve and just a tip a better explanation for all badges next year a simplified version would be great just telling just tell us exactly what we want to know so we don't have to ask etc lightning reflexes fags i think with a lot of the badges y'all don't even know if they work yourself you know y'all gotta come up with way better descriptions like completely detailed bro I hate that reverse layup animation, bro. I always miss it. I wish they take it out the game and I can reverse dunk, bro. Every time. This guy right here is lost, bro. Talking about sinners can't finish. I don't get it. Look at this Craig guy. Biggs with 95 standing dunk and Hall of Fame back down still can't go straight up on dunk. Even with position, even on smaller opponents. What game are you playing, bro? I don't, I don't get it. Finishing is fine. Paint defense is damn near non-existent. Finishing is OP. Paint defense is non-existent. Facts. So this guy's talking about how they should nerf the explosive hop step like they nerf the explosive behind the back. My thing is, why are y'all always trying to patch movement? Why not patch a screen? Patch the effectiveness of screens. That's the most unrealistic and most overpowered thing in the game, to be honest. You feel me? How paint beast can just bully lockdowns and stuff, you know? Like, if, if y'all really want a skill gap and, like, stuff to not be bailout, screens need to go to when it was 14 through 16, you know? It's to the point now, listen to this. This is not basketball, guys. Listen, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Screens are real, all that other stuff, you know, you know, but listen, it's to the point now to where people aren't doing any moves. That's not basketball. They're not trying to fake out their opponents to which way they're going to go to the screen. They're doing no moves, no tricky moves. They're simply going one way, forcing the guy to hit the screen. Screens are so overpowered, it takes him out the play. If that guy doesn't switch, it's a green. Fade or three, green. And then if the guy does step up and stop him, the mismatch, they give it to the big to oop or dunk on him or paint match him since paint name fits in so ass it's broken in real life bro people at least try to fake people out and do moves and the screens don't hit that hard in in park in real life park in street ball and pick up ball no one setting screens if they do they're extremely light no hard screens that needs to be the same in the 2k game Screens were created to appeal to y'all casuals so y'all can have an easier time playing because you can't get open. But everyone says their favorite 2Ks were the 2Ks that I'm referring to where screens weren't OP like that. You feel me? In 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 basketball, bro, in the NBA, bro, it's it's meant to, you know, make switches and stuff, and then you know, quick moves and then you know, quick shots, and but it's not. It's not to where someone's just literally catching the ball, give it to the center, catch the ball, go one way, take the screen. It hits so hard you can't get around it. You want to know why screens are so OP, bro? Because in 18, or I, I don't think it was 17, they made it to where players were more intangible, right? To where you can't walk past a player. Like, if you like people have their own aura right and it's like you go towards them you can't get around them it's like they're it's like the ultimate brick wall screen and the gameplay isn't fast enough for you to walk around them. it's just like now when someone jumps 
it can, you pass the ball, it hits them. That only started happening in 18, it's trash. It's like, say I drive, three people run and jump at me, I don't even take it up. I pass out and it hits somebody. It's trash. Or I'm at the three, someone jumps at me for no reason, it's a bad jump. I pass out and it hits them. And it's just random. It's terrible. It messes up. It makes screens way too overpowered, bro. And um, they gotta make, make it easier to get around people or speed up the game, bro. Listen to the young swan, man. I don't think acrobat, cross key, fast break finisher, lob finisher, and teardropper even works this year. Teardrop should death be a thing along with acrobat teardrops usually, man. Another IQ. Overall, people complain about fancy and slithery a lot, but the true problem is contested finishes going in. Facts. Can I get the facts in the comments? If you stop that, people would complain way less. There should rarely be restrictions when it comes to animations. Just when things are contested, it needs to get rewarded. Can I get a motherfucker? Facts. Most finishing badges aren't needed. Everybody talking about OP is lying. Facts. Why do you think people are really settling for single digit amount of finishing badges? Now, anywho, that's the video. Make sure y'all subscribe if you're new. Like up the goddamn video. Turn on post notices. Y'all be sure to subscribe to my second channel. Follow me on Twitch. Follow, follow all my social medias. It's in the description. Leave a comment. Make, make sure y'all still working out and drinking water, my boy. You got it. You got it. Think good. Yeah, I know I do. I need a new controller. I had this shit for a while. Yeah, I got that shit too. I be having to like, like pack my shit in randomly to fix it. But they only fix it for like a little time. You know I bait, bro. I bait for you to catch up. Yeah, well you couldn't get back to yours there. So I Girl, this shit is lagging. This nigga set me yeah. screen. I will beat the fuck out of you. <laughs> fucking girlfriend. Fuck up, Hey, I, I got the big PS4, nigga. You know what I mean? Hey, get the fuck off the court, LeBron. I will, my nigga. Nigga, if I use screens, bro, oh my god. Oh, no, bro, bro, it's not hard. That peeking shit is easy, bro. It niggas would be dominated, bro. And then I ran with a legend paint beast, nigga. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. GG, nigga. Why y'all saying wow? That shit crazy. Yeah, that shit crazy in a bit. I'm finna come back, though. Shut the fuck up, nigga. <laughs>